Hey guys, THC here. Today I'm going to be talking about a recent L.A. Noir 2 leak from Rockstar Games. It's pretty awesome. As you guys know, I have covered L.A. Noir 2 on my channel for a very long time, so let's just get right into it, and I will break down the details in a very quick video. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, check out some of my L.A. Noir content if you want. So, basically what happened is that a clip of a song was uploaded to YouTube. Um, by this company called Warner Chapel Music. I'll talk about them a little bit later. This doesn't seem that crazy, but the start of the clip has a DJ introducing the song and also referencing KTI Radio, which a lot of us know is the radio station in LA Noir 1. We don't know if it is actually just a clip from LA Noir 1 or if it's fake, but basically it was titled LA Noir Part 2. So, what that kind of means is that uh, this clip of music was uploaded for copyright purposes pretty much to kind of see if the copyright would um, go through. So let's kind of go over some more of the details that I found in a post. It was posted by a channel called LA Noir Part 2 Dash Topic, which YouTube typically makes these topic channels when they find a video, it thinks it's like talking about something. So the music is Break My Stride by Matthew Wilder. That is the actual song, so you can go look it up. I'll play a bit of it right now. And then the description on the video says, The music of L.A. Noir Part 2. L.A. Noir Part 2. It's not called L.A. Noir 2. The game will be called L.A. Noir Part 2, which makes me think that it is a sequel or a continuation of the story. The one reason why I think it might not be that is because when you go to this company's page, um, whatever they're called, Warner Chapel Music, on their homepage, it says that they specialize in 70s music for TV, web, radio, doesn't really specify that they've worked with games before, but they have a lot of artists, and they specifically specialize in 70s music. So that makes me think that L.A. Noir Part 2 could be set in the 70s and not be a direct sequel to L.A. Noir 1, or I should just call it L.A. Noir. So maybe the theories that we play as Jack Kelso are not correct, or maybe just because this company specializes in 70s music doesn't quite mean that this game will be set in the 70s, but a lot of people have asked for um, a L.A. Noir sequel in the 70s. I have plenty of comments that are asking for that. But pretty much, when Rockstar kind of rebranded their logo, they showed off that new logo. To me, it didn't seem very Grand Theft Auto. It seemed a lot like a noir kind of thing. Is that just me? It was like the ladies posing and just the overall style. It seemed very noir. So it's really looking like L.A. Noir 2, or L.A. Noir Part 2 is Rockstar's next game for the um, big consoles, but once again, this could all be fake. This could all be absolutely, absolutely fake. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about that real quick, and uh, yeah, it's basically just a, a leak of the music. And the fact that it is a 2020 copyright means that, you know, it's probably not a snippet from L.A. Noir 1 at all, and uh, yeah. This guy posted the music of Ellie Noir Part 2. So, that's looking like Rockstar's next game. Please check out some of my more in-detailed Ellie Noir videos that will be popping up right now. My name is Troy Harrison Christ. Just wanted to kind of break down the news a little bit in a cheeky quick video. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here. Patch 1247 out. Peace.